Taiwan Trivia Episode One: How yellow is your urine? Hello. When do you usually get off work? Do you find yourself feeling constantly overwhelmed at the office? If so, do you know of a small island country in the shape of a sweet potato called Taiwan? <laughs> What we're about to see next is the daily workflow for an average Taiwanese worker. It's only 8 a.m. and the Taiwanese are in the lead, already hunched over and working at his desk. Behind them are the Japanese and the American. Wait a minute, is that a hangover spot in the land of stars and stripes? Oh, just strolling into the office at a leisurely pace, and we have lost track of the Frenchman. Where is he? Oh, he's still at the starting line. Now we'll take a short break. Ooh la la, okay, bon appetit. Hmm. Yes, the way of the tea. Hmm. Donuts. And now let's see what the Taiwanese bring out. At 7 p.m., it's time to clock off, but the Taiwanese are still busy at work while the Japanese has headed off to the bar for a drink. Meanwhile, the Americans has just arrived home, and the Frenchman is already lying in bed waiting for him. The clock strikes 10 p.m., and the Taiwanese has headed back to his desk while chugging yet another Red Bull. Now it's midnight. The Taiwanese has finally packed up his things and ready to head out. But oh no, the boss has sent another work-related text that requires immediate action. K.O. Knock out. The average work hours of Taiwan employees surpass those in Japan, France, and America. Yet they are paid a minuscule salary in comparison. Although labor rights are pretty much non-existent in Taiwan, its people do not fight for their rights as often as those in Western societies. Most European countries not only offer better working conditions, but also show greater activism in the protection of labor rights. For example, an average of two percent of the French workforce participated in a strike annually. As for Taiwan, a hundred percent of its workers just grit their teeth and power through every year. The Taiwanese are truly a good bunch of workers, aren't they? One of Taiwan's wealthiest entrepreneurs often asks his employees, "How yellow is your urine?" He thinks that if employees are truly hard at work, they will not have time to drink water, leaving more time to focus on work. As a result, their urine would simmer inside their bladders to a beautiful amber reduction. Indeed, he believes that workers with potential bladder problems make good employees. If you finish work too early, then the boss will accuse you of not working hard enough. Now, let's do a urine test for the employees of each country mentioned in this episode. Findings from this test reveal a honey-like color to the urine from Taiwanese workers, a rather ominous shade of yellow for urinary health. So, why is that the Taiwanese people seem to work like robots without ever complaining? That is because Confucius said, "Solidarity is a virtue." Taiwanese people do not want to break the spirit of collaboration and risk being considered non-virtuous. So when the time for clocking off comes around, the whole office enters an awkward headlock in which no one dares to be the first to leave. The strong hierarchical culture of the workplace makes it difficult for workers to leave before their employers. Also, for some unknown reason, when a fellow colleague has a lighter workload rather than aspiring to join them in heaven, we want to drag them down to work flat in hell with us. Naturally. The industrious nature of the Taiwanese people has led to the development of a convenient lifestyle tailored for people that are always on the go. Other than 24-hour convenience stores, there are also restaurants, karaoke bars, and even bookstores that operate around the clock. So next time you visit Taiwan, come and enjoy our professional and courteous customer service, competitive prices, and great food. After all, these are all products of the hardworking, industrious Taiwanese people. And just so you know, the animation that you are currently viewing is also the product of the hard work and overtime efforts by the Taiwan Trivia Team. <coughs> Disclaimer: We thank the nations that took part in this clip, America, France, and Japan. Any resemblance to actual events of scenarios is entirely coincidental. Terms and conditions apply. If you enjoyed this clip. Please click on the subscribe button on the bottom right corner. Otherwise, our production team would have had bladder problems for nothing.